I'm excited to share a demo video of our new BrainWorks platform. You're going to head to Members area and click Get Started under the Select and Print section. From here, you can see our brand new platform, new and improved. Drop down the instruction menu and make sure you read all of the instructions. It does work best with Google Chrome in the full screen mode. So in order to find the cards that you want, click the age group and select the activity type. This is where you're going to find all of the organized cards. If you want to search for a specific card, type in what you're looking for and then it will pop up with everything relating to car in this case. Make sure though when you are searching for a specific card you have these categories blank, otherwise it won't pull up with the proper images. So click select age group, click select activity type, and then you can hit search and it will pull up everything that we have in our system. To hide the instructions, you can click this little arrow and it will go ahead and hide the instructions. You can always click that arrow down to find them again. So let's get started selecting some cards to print and I'm gonna select school age children, just right activities. I'm going to click, drag and drop over to the right side square. Now, if I want to, I can rearrange these cards, which is a new feature, and I can put them in a specific order if I want to, just to make printing easier. You can also select a specific page instead of clicking one button to go through each page. Another important feature is to make sure when you are dragging and dropping your cards, you drag them into the square above, not just straight over to the right. So they have to be in that nice square. This will look different depending on the screen that you're using, if you have a laptop, a desktop, or a tablet. Another helpful feature is to select all of the cards on one page. So let's go to our new Reflex Integration Cards, and I'm going to delete all of the cards that I've already selected just by clicking the Clear All button. And it will ask me if I want to make sure, so I'm sure, so I'm going to hit yes. If I want to select all of these cards, I'm going to click Select All on Page, and I'm going to add them automatically to that right Preview and Print section. Make sure that you select all of the cards, so head to page two and click select all just to make sure that you have all of the cards that you want from our reflex integration section. Now let's say I want to delete a card that I'm not going to use. I'm just gonna hit the little red trash can button and it is gone and then I can rearrange the cards as well just by dragging and moving them around on this right side of the screen. Let's click preview and print the 1.5 inch pictures and it pulls up a new tab with all of these beautiful cards on the page. There are two pages here, so if I want to see what the cards look like as four inch pictures, I click the four inch button and you can see they are much bigger and there are two pictures per page that I can print. I'm gonna right click this page and click print and it pulls up a preview of all of the cards and you can change the settings from black and white to color if you'd like. And you can see how that looks as the four inch cards in color. Now you can also save this page as a PDF to your computer. I'm using a Mac so these settings will look different depending on the computer you're on, but I just click save as PDF and then I'm going to save it to my desktop and title it whatever I want to remember it is called. You can also change portrait and landscape mode as well to have a little bit of a different view as you are looking at your cards. I personally think they work better as the portrait mode because they fit on the page a little bit better. So I'm going to save these cards to my desktop so that way I can refer back to them as needed. I'm gonna title them Reflex Cards and click Save. And I already have these cards on my desktop so I'm just going to hit Replace. Now when you close the tab at the top, those cards are gone, but they are still on the BrainWorks section. Unless you click Clear All, then they will be gone. So I highly recommend making sure they look great before you clear your section. And you can click Back to Sensational Brain when you're ready to head back to the website. Just remember to go to Members Area anytime you want to access your BrainWorks membership.